Hello, how's everyone doing? Do I get to see my slides here? Can I just press right? This is awesome. This is me, hello. Uh, I founded the IPFS Discord. I or help organize the SF Meetup. I'm a product guy and I'm here to talk about what I've been working on the past few months. Uh, this topic is super important to me. Uh, you know, we keep talking about decentralization being super important and I think that's a big part of, of what we're trying to fix here with IPFS, but I'd like to help reframe that a little bit. You see, I think that if we get these, the, the big top 10 companies to like use decentralized technology, well, okay, they'll be better distributed and save on bandwidth and whatever, but the real prize I think that we're after is to go for this internet that's not just 10 websites that control 90% of web traffic, which is where we are right now, and I think the people in this room are the best people to help create an internet that's not just gentrified, not just this kind of like, you know, you want video, go to that one place, but you can help create your own thing. Um, so that's something that's very important to me. And I think that, that the shape of the web we have right now is kind of a danger for free speech. We're lucky that most of us live in countries that have free speech. Uh, but, you know, if you have the 10 websites, it's really easy for them to deplatform you and do all kinds of like weird shit. So um, I think the permaweb, I think the IPFS, I think decentralized tech is the perfect fit to deal with this and, and help people, you know, create technology to deal with that. So um, because it's self-hosted, because it's got into an encryption, thank you Textile for making that shit so much easier for us, um, and because it's resilient. Um, so I've been working uh, with a team of three people for the past, I guess, four or five months on an app called Permaweb Writer which is a very simple markdown editor, um, but helps you publish easily to IPFS. Because, well, I mean, you could write markdown and save in Sublime and then IPFS add or whatever, but like, I'm trying to get, you know, maybe a million users to use IPFS this way and stuff, and hopefully more. Um, so it's built on top of IPFS and textile. Um, so this helps us organize things in threads and get updates automatically and stuff. And it's just a lot of convenience. So we've released this. It's available on the GitHub link that you see for pretty much all the platforms. Mobile is coming. And I'd like to show you a little bit how it works. Um, so here's an example, a, a crowded example of what we have just to show you what we can do. Uh, we've got the same kind of editor as you'd see on Medium, for example, because the normies like that a lot. So, you know, if you highlight your text, you can make it headers and stuff and bold and all that. You can embed stuff. We have a nice little shortcut to put emoji in things. Uh, yeah, you press column and boop, emoji appear. It's awesome. Uh, we're adding slash commands for GIFs because people want that too. And it's just a not faster, more convenient way of, of publishing stuff, you know, on IPFS. Uh, we're very, we're product people. Um, so we focused a lot on this kind of like convenience, delight thing and all that that you don't see in a lot of the web apps currently. Uh, so, you know, we have a big emphasis on keyboard shortcuts. I made a GIF for this slide, I was very proud. Uh, we, uh, the really cool thing with IPFS is we get history for free, which for some reason a lot of blogging platforms don't give you that. Um, and we have different views. We're adding a Vim view soon, so that's nice. So you can feel like a god when you're typing. It's a lot of people like Vim. Um, and, and so generally, we just try to make this thing a, a nice, convenient tool for, for teams and for people who are not necessarily familiar with the ideas of the permaweb, the decentralized web, web3, whatever the fuck you call it. Like, just use this thing, and it's going to be easy for you to have this permanent thing, and a big platform can just take it away from you and deplatform you, and I think that's really important. So you can use it for notes and to-dos and have a personal paste bin because it's encrypted, so whatever, and also publish blog posts and have public links for those things, collaborate with people, and I have a minute left. Okay, cool. Um, and, and so the vision we have for this is to turn this into a headless CMS, so that you can write content here, and on your website, put in a little bit of JavaScript, go like, okay, tell me what the latest post that I've made, and it pulls the title, it pulls the content, and suddenly you have a dynamic piece, like a dynamic website that you've built over IPFS. So you're not stuck with this whole like static website stuff going on that a lot of people uh, think is what you'd have when you publish a blog on IPFS. Um, so 
This is interesting. Like we're building a consumer product on a stack that is not exactly production ready. Um, you know, it, the speed is definitely an issue sometimes and all, but, but we're doing this so that we can, one, get the community here to start embracing tools that are just, you know, made for more like convenience and stuff, and also get more people introduced to this ecosystem. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to get teams to use this, and we should talk about this more soon. Thank you.